Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Fund of Family. In this video, I am going to explain you BJT Operation Regions. And to understand BJP Operation Region, I will be considering NPN as well as PNP transistor. And by biasing, I will explain you how we can use BJT in different operational regions. Like how we can keep BJT in saturation region, how we can keep BJT in cutoff region, how we can keep BJT in forward active region how we can keep BJT in reverse active region, all those things that I'll explain you along with biasing in PNP and NPN transistor, right. So, let us discuss first how we can keep BJT in saturation region. See, in saturation region, you should know, see this emitter base junction and this collector base junction that should be there in forward bias. So, in saturation region, emitter base and collector base junction that should be there in forward bias. Here what I will do is I will be considering common base configuration. So, here base is common and to keep emitter base junction in forward bias all you can do is this P type that should be connected with positive terminal of battery and this N type that should be connected with negative terminal of battery, right. That is how we can keep this BJT in forward bias with emitter base junction. And to keep collector base junction in forward bias, this P type that should be connected with positive terminal of battery. You see, I am connecting it. And this N type, which is base, that is connected with negative terminal of battery. So, by these two battery, you can observe emitter base and collector base junction that is there in forward bias with common base configuration. And that is how now this BJT that is there in saturation region. This is PNP. Now, if you want this NPN. In saturation region then to keep this emitter base junction in forward bias see this battery is positive terminal that should be connected with p type and battery is negative terminal that should be connected with n type and to keep this collector base junction in forward bias battery is positive terminal over here that will be connected with this p type base and n type will be connected with negative terminal of battery like this See, this is how we can have saturation region of operation with this PNP and NPN, right. Here you need to understand how junctions are there. So, for saturation, emitter base junction and collector base junction both are there in forward bias, right. As if you want to understand cutoff region, in that situation, both of these junctions emitter base and collector base that will be there in reverse bias. Let me show you that. So, for that, see to have cutoff region with PNP, this N should be connected with positive terminal and this P should be connected with negative terminal. That is how it is there in reverse bias, emitter base junction is there in reverse bias and to keep collector base junction in reverse bias, all we need to do is we need to connect this P type with negative terminal of battery and this N type with positive terminal of battery. That is how it will be there in the reverse bias and now this PNP that is there in cutoff region. To have this NPN in cutoff region, all you need to do is N type should be connected with positive terminal, P type should be connected with negative terminal. And to have this collector base junction in reverse bias, this P type will be with negative terminal, N type will be with positive terminal and that is how both of these junctions are there in reverse bias and now you can say NPN and PNP both are there in cutoff region, right. Now usually see in active region, we will be using forward active region only in majority of cases. There is no point of using reverse active, there are, there are very limited applications which is there with reverse active. Usually you will be observing we use transistor in forward active region only. In active region, we can use transistor as amplifier. We can use trans transistor with varieties of applications. So, in majority of cases, you will be observing, you will be using this BJT in forward active region only. And in forward active region, we have emitter base junction in forward bias and collector base junction in reverse bias. Let me show you that with common base configuration. So, in common base configuration, to keep emitter base junction in forward bias, this P type that should be connected with positive terminal of battery, N type will be connected with negative terminal of battery and we can have emitter base junction in forward bias and to have 
collector based junction in reverse bias n type should be connected with positive terminal of battery and p type should be connected with negative terminal of battery that is how we can have this pnp transistor in forward active region and to have npn in forward active region to keep this emitter based junction in forward bias this n type that should be connected with negative terminal of battery and this p type that should be connected with positive terminal of battery and to have this collector based junction in reverse bias p will be connected with negative terminal of battery and n will be connected with positive terminal of battery see this is how biasing will be provided and by this biasing you can have this npn transistor in forward active region right see forward active region that is quite essential that's why you should know it right usually reverse active re reverse active region that we use it with very limited cases but still you should know it see here this emitter based junction that will be there in reverse bias and this collector based junction that will be there in forward bias right so in that you will have to revert the polarity of this battery right see right now as if you talk about forward active region so in that as per this battery connection you can say in forward active region current direction that will be happening like this right i am not talking about internal uh, current flow here i am talking about current flow as per terminals so see as per this battery emitter current will flow like this let us say that is ie so this emitter current that is getting bisected into ib and ic over here right in forward active region and this current that you can say that will be due to majority carriers so here majority carriers will be holes right as you see this p type emitter that is heavily doped this p type collector that is less doped but size of this collector that is far greater compared to base so in total here majority will be there as per holes so here current flow will happen due to holes right but see current flow will happen due to holes but that can be controlled by this base right and that base control that will happen by electrons so here you can say majority of current that will flow due to holes but it is controlled by electrons how it will be controlled by electrons that we will see it in future coming uh, classes right of this lecture series of electronic devices but you should know see in pnp when it comes to forward active at the time majority of current that will flow due to holes when it comes to npn at that time you see polarity of battery that indicates collector current that will flow from here and that is getting bisected into ib and ie right so here you will be observing what will happen this ic current that will flow due to electrons over here and that is getting bisected into ie and ib see from terminal perspectives right now i am discussing what is happening internally that even we will be going to observe it in next coming classes right but one thing that should be clear to you when you provide biasing at that time see this saturation explains npn and pnp both transistors are having forward bias of emitter based junction and collector based junction in cutoff both of these junctions should be there in reverse bias but forward active is having emitter based junction that is there in forward bias collector based junction in reverse bias and reverse active region that is having emitter based junction in reverse bias and collector based junction in forward bias and same is applicable for npn transistor as well right so same things are there only thing is here current flow mechanism that will happen due to electrons in majority with npn and with pnp that major current flow that will happen due to holes how it will happen that i'll be going to explain you it in next class still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video